you measure the length of your bow between the knocks, mm -hmm. which is 73 inches, mm -hmm. and then to get proper string length allowances, you need to add anywhere between 10 and 12 inches. 10 inches is enough. Inches? Yeah. So 73 plus 10 inches, 83 inches, mm -hmm. is the length of the bow string that we're going to be using, the strands. We're going to make a 10 strand string is plenty for a, a light bow like that. So we're going, one, uh, we're going to make two bundles of five strings. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Each of these nails represents one strand for a string. You measure from the back end of your your shorter strand. Half of 83 inches is, who's the mathematician around there? 41 half. Attach your string onto the nail. Right, that brings us to one strand. Drop down one. Three. Strands through. See that to the side. <clears throat> you can see that all the strands are slightly shorter than the, the next one. Next one yeah. Now we'll put the bow up here. We match the ends. We've got to make the two different loops, so we want roughly overhang on each end of the bow, roughly about the same. Right, so we've got our two strands. You can make a three strand, uh, a three braided string, but this two is easiest. Mm -hmm. Pinch them together, grab hold of one strand, twist it away from in clockwise. This one clockwise. Now, twist it away from you, fold it over towards you. Twist the strand in away from you and fold it towards you. Twist in away, fold it towards you. And it starts the braid. Twist it away in the clockwise, fold it towards you. Then you fold it around. There's enough for you for a loop. I like to make a loop that is tight on your bottom limb, so that way when you're storing it, it doesn't slip up the end of your bow all the time. Mm -hmm. So find your braid, separate the strands. Now you match one loose end up with a full strand, the other end up with a full strand. Make sure you get any twists out of what you've just been twisting on the loose strands. Mm -hmm. Match them together. Right, you've got your strands matched together. Mm -hmm. Nice and straight. Now, you twist away clockwise. See how it wants to 
-hmm. hold itself together. Clockwise twist, hold it together. So it's basically pulling itself in. That's right, it just twists itself together because you're moving away, um, the tension holds itself together. As you can see, each strand, being shorter than the other, is going to lay in, become a neater finish than if they were all the same length. Mm -hmm. That's it. Then rub a bit of wax in there so that while you're working on it, it all locks together. Now you've got to get all the twists out. Because what happens later on, if you leave them twisted, when you put your last twist in the length of the string, these don't twist so not don't twist together nicely. They stay separated. So you make sure the stranding stays untwisted all the length until where you're going to be using it next. Now grab your bow again. Now, mostly I find if you allow yourself about four inches short of the short of one end, it'll give the roughly the right amount of um, bend to your bow to come up the brace height. So short of the knock. Short of the knock, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you come up to there. Pull the stranding together so it's evenly matched in tension. Now you start the process again. So we're going to be around about four inches short, mm -hmm. the top of the loop to the knot point. Twist back out again. Turn around. Match the loose ends with a full strain. Form the loop. Start your twisting clockwise. Tension up, so. Yep. To get, you've got to lock the strand in together along the length of the string to complete the the braid. Mm -hmm. So, if you can see this, the string wants to come apart if you twist it counterclockwise. So you continue to twist the string the same way it's been braided. About 10 twists is fine. So you're going to twist all the way along. Now, the push me pull me method. <laughs> 